often a soldier dies in his bed these days? No, sir. No such luck, sir. Pretty sudden, wasn't it? A chill carried him off very suddenly, sir. A week ago, he was as fit as you and I when he came home on leave. Well, there's one thing. Brody the novelist will be remembered when half the great soldiers of the war have been forgotten. I shouldn't be surprised, sir. No, no, it's all right, sir. By the way, when's the funeral? Tomorrow, sir. Very quietly in the country. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Goodbye, Cook. So long, girls. You'll be in work again in less than no time. Red Cross, munitions, what not. What's the idea? What's the meaning of all this? Who are you? Stevenson has told you the sad news. Look here, sir. I don't even know what your name is. You can call me R. R, exclamation. No, R for Roger Denver. Did you have a good crossing from France? Excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. Only to find out as soon as I landed in England that I was dead. Very sad. Casualties have been very heavy of late. Mr. Look here, sir. Have you seen this? Mm -hmm. well, what's the explanation of that? Well, the explanation of that is this. What does that mean? It means that we can't advance a yard in Palestine until we're quite sure of the Arabs behind us. We're not quite sure, is that it? And the sensor lets up to this extent. Things are pretty critical. Yes, but look here, sir, I don't see. No, and you won't see if you keep on talking. Now, Germany is making every effort at the moment to buy up the Arabs. Tell me, do you love your country? Well, I've just died for it. And you can't guess why? I suppose I'm waiting for you to tell me. Well, these areas always upset the goldfish. I never know what to do with them. Here are your passports. One British, one American. You have the reputation of being a shrewd observer of life, Ashenden. Ashenden? Me? Yes, you. The late lamented Brody was much too well known for our present purpose. Okay, what are you driving at? Ashenden is going to Switzerland to locate a certain German agent who is leaving for Arabia very shortly via Constantinople. Description? None. Well, that's helpful. But your predecessor... Rest his soul. In his last message, said he thought he was staying at the Hotel Excelsior. I want you to go there. Now, in this envelope is the name of a man playing for both sides who may help you to find him. When I have found him? That sounded just like a pistol shot, didn't it? Report to me and you'll be given further instructions. I see. He's not to be allowed to reach Constantinople. Precisely. I like a man who makes quick decisions. Tonight, a car will take you to Dover. You'll change into civvies on the destroyer, which will take you across the channel. From there, you'll go to Switzerland by a roundabout route. Your assistant will be there before you. Why well, do you have an assistant, am I? Yes, and in the circumstances, a very useful one. We call him the hairless Mexican. Oh, why? <laughs> Chiefly because he's got a lot of curly hair and isn't a Mexican. <laughs> you can call him the general. He isn't a general, but he'll appreciate the compliment. You shall see him yourself. Well, where's the general? He took to the cellar, sir, when the raid began. Funny, he can't have lost his nerve. Mr. Ashenden will be leaving in a few minutes. Very good. Come on, let's go down. Right. Where's my cap? Go down. Now bear in mind, if the Swiss police know what you're up to, they'll have you in the jug. That's you are. Watch my step. Steady, steady, my girl. It's much safer down here than upstairs, you know. I'd rather be upstairs with a bomb than downstairs with some people. 
Hello, oh, General. I did you an injustice. I thought you came down here to dodge the bombs. But, Mr. R, you should know oh, me better. Uh, this is Ashenbaum. General Pompilio Montezuma de la Bella del Conde de Longu. Very pleased. Excuse me, I have some very important business. See you in Switzerland. Very... Hello, dear me, sweetie. Just a moment. I love you. Lady Calais. Not only ladies. Well, now that you've met, we won't delay your departure any longer. I'd better go and see what he's up to. So long. I believe. Oh, yes. Sir. My name is Ashenden. I will see you. Ashenden? Oh, yes, sir. Room 234 and 5, second floor, bedroom and sitting room. Could you sign your name and address? Sure. The private bath will do that first. Certainly, monsieur. Madame Ashenden has insisted on a private bath. Who? Madame. Your wife, monsieur. She arrived yesterday. You were not expecting her so soon. No, not quite so soon. <laughs> Pleasant surprise for me, isn't it? Indeed, yes, monsieur. Is Mrs. Ashenden looking well? Madame looks Robison, monsieur. Well, that is nice, isn't it? Mm. Well, I'm in a mess of this now. I'll do another one upstairs. Rooms two, three, four, and five, you said? Yes, monsieur. Uh, I suppose uh, Mrs. Ashenden has the key. Yes, monsieur. Shall I come up with you, monsieur? No, 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 no. I think I'll uh, just surprise her on my own, if you don't mind. Have my luggage sent up, will you? Certainly. Yeah, what were those numbers again? 234 and 5. I'll write them down for you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, yeah, yeah, it's all right. Uh, I, I, I'm so sorry. I'm afraid it was entirely my fault. Oh, no, it's quite all right. No harm done. <laughs> sure, I haven't had it. No, it'll be. Quite all right, thanks. <laughs> Poor old boy. What is loose? What is loose? What is the shame? Oh, garnished, garnished. Someone just trotted his foot, my dear, that's all. Nothing. Where is that? England, nicht wahr? Yeah. Aren't you through with that bat? I'm trying myself. Good news. What are we going to do tomorrow? My week. Why aren't you going out with me? Didn't you promise? What about a nice private picnic in the wood around here somewhere? What about a nice public lunch in the dining room downstairs? Oh, lady, didn't I make any better hit with you than that? No way. I'm a respectable married woman. I really know you 24 hours. Sure, that means in 48 you'll know me twice as well. And by the end of the week? You looking for anybody around here? You're only my wife. And by the end of the week, what? A divorce, it looks like. Are you Mr. Ashenden? Guilty. Darling, you're here at last. Mm. Angel, how well you're looking. Delicious. I hope you haven't been lonely. Oh, no. This gentleman and I picked each other up in the lounge yesterday, didn't we? Yes. A good angel threw us together. He's been well, most kind and entertaining. Mr. Roger Martin, isn't it? It sounds well the way you say it, but it's really Robert Marvin. Oh, oh pleased to meet you, Mr. Lockett. <laughs> how do you do, Mr. Ashenkamp? Not at all. Well, I suppose it's time now for the Triangle to retire from the family circle. Exit, uh, baffled. I wasn't expecting you quite so soon. So I gathered. Jealous? My good girl, there's no need for you to play a part now. Kind of tell me who you are, what your name is, and why you're passing yourself off as my wife. My name is Elsa Carrington. I just thought you could have answered the other questions for yourself. But 
you mean that old ruffian ours gone and unloaded you on me? Yes, oh. as you so elegantly put it. But you're on the same job. Yes, R sent for me and told me to come out here to join my husband, Mr. Richard Ashenden. So here I am, Dickie dear. Now how do I know you're really the person you say you are? Here's my passport. That's better. Who is it? All right, stick them down there. Anything else? First of all, I'd like to see yours. Oh, well, that's better still. All right. I acknowledge you as my true and lawful husband. Was well, it a note for you? It's in my bedroom. Our bedroom? Mine? You sleep there. Oh. Here it is. Go. Yep. Well, what does it say? Do you mind if I come in? You don't want the whole hotel to hear, do you? You don't mind my getting on with the day's work? No, not the least. I had to work it out. It's in code. I know. You opened it? Of course I did. I'm just silly. Father Concerns You says, I'm making you a married man just to round off your new character. What else does it say? Your wife comes of fighting stock. A regular little fire eater, in fact. Oh, that's <laughs> really nice. I look to you to direct her energies into the right channels. Be as connubial as possible. Yours are. What does connubial mean? Luxurious. What does that mean? Speak English. Affectionate in a big way. Oh. Well, that shouldn't be difficult. <laughs> well, what do you think of your new husband? I'm agreeably surprised. Thank you. It's chilly this bar. Well, you see, I've been reading your books for years and years, and I sort of pictured you as a very old gentleman. It's not nearly so bad as I thought. No, it's very kind of you. It's too hot there. What do you think of me? I don't know. I'll tell you when you finish putting on your face. Look here, what did you really take this job on for? What else was there to do? Oh, all sorts of things. You might have been a nurse or something. Me? I know, ministering angel. I've come to Switzerland for a thrill. You think I'm going to give it to you? Goodness, no. You're only the means to an end. The end being? Excitement, big risk, danger. Perhaps even a little. You know, all that sort of thing may not be quite so amusing as you think. Now look here, let's understand each other. I burnt my boats. I quarreled with dozens of people to come out here to do something worthwhile. There's no good your standing there looking middle-aged and bleating about all safety first. All right, all right, all right. Well, how do we start? I suppose I'll tell you what we're here for. A little. He said you tell me the rest. <laughs> what on earth is that? Hello. Good heavens. How did you get here? <laughs> my dear old friend. How do you do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Steady on. Oh, Ashenden, how have you been all the time? I haven't seen you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, all right, all right. Take it easy, General. Take it easy. How did you get in? Oh, I was staying on door all the time, but... And, and I was knocking and barking, but you did not hear. Too busy in company of beautiful woman, lady, girl. You know this man, do you, then? Oh, I think he's a conjurer or something. He follows me about the hotel and tries to show me some silly trick with pen. Very nice trick. Your wife, huh? How do you know this lady is my wife? How do I? <laughs> Very simple. Passport in table. Each one inside of each other one. <laughs> no flies on you, other. You know him? Well, of course I do. He's one of our colleagues, aren't you, General? General Pompilio Montesuma della Villa del Conde de Lombu, as I said before. Yes, and I may as well tell you at once that this lady is not my wife. Then what? This lady's been issued to me officially by old man R. Issued? What, what do you mean, issued? Issued like, like, uh, passport? Oh, oh, you mean given to you? Gi oh, this is too much. And oh, who no, has given her to you? Uh, will you tell me who has given her? Oh, maybe perhaps this old... Oh, this old foolish, terrible, impossible man! This awful, this is too much! Really too much! For you, beautiful woman? And what for me? What for me? Nothing! Nobody, nothing! No, this is... Caramba, baby, you Caramba! No, no, no. I, I resign. Now, General, perhaps you'll listen if you're quite finished. Brody was a bachelor, therefore Ashenden has to be a married man. It makes it much safer, that's all. This girl's been issued to me as part of my disguise. I resign. She's nothing to me, I tell you, and I'm nothing to her. Can't you understand? No, no. I re... Oh, maybe, perhaps... His lie is true? But of course it's true. What do you mean? Oh, then in this case, maybe, maybe affections of beauty. 
beautiful lady are free for me? Completely free? Absolutely, as far as I'm concerned. Can't you do anything about this? Do I look as if I enjoy conjuring tricks? Yeah, 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 General. No lovemaking, no funny business. We can't afford to take risks. The Swiss police will be on us in no time. Besides, you've got to get a move on. What have you done since we've got here, anyway? Oh, me. Me much too big gentleman to tell this in front of lady. I dare say. Let me remind you, we're here for a purpose, and we've got to start tomorrow. Our first job is to go to a village in the mountains called Langenthal. In Langenthal, there's a church. In that church, we'll find the organist, who our says here has been working for the Germans, but is now on our side. We've got to get in touch with him, and he'll put us onto the track of the man we're after. What do I do? Nothing. You stay here and wait in case a phone call comes through from Zurich. Thank you. That'll be a good start. Would you mind removing your friend so I can get on with my dressing? Go on, General. Out you go. Well? Well? How does Mrs. Ashenden look now? This has all been done for your special benefit. Very kind of you, I'm sure. You're fond of yourself, aren't you? Married life has begun. All right, shout about that as much as you like. But don't forget we've got a job to do, and it's part of that job to keep it secret, whatever happens. makes my beautiful leg very angry. I 
nice work. Neat, very neat. Someone very much did not want we should speak to him. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, look. Well, what's that? Not so neat after all. Big struggle before he die. Me better, much better. She struggled here. The man who owns this business is the man who killed him. Yes, sir. Listen here. Also, he's the man we are looking for to find. You're right. That's the motive. Hmm. One way of stopping a fellow's mouth. Say, look out, someone's coming. Here a little longer. Right. I've always wanted to come to Switzerland. The people are so nice. Yes, especially Charlie there. Hey, Fred, do you mind moving down a bit so we can see the scenery? Oh, no, don't. He's nice. Are those your own teeth? Of course, they're a bit silly. Oh. But yours on. Well, I never thought you look. Wait a minute. You mind holding them for me? <laughs> don't be so disgusting. <laughs> look at that nose. Boy, well, I bet you could squeeze it and get a quart of whiskey out of it. <laughs> hey, Sam. George, where's whatever your name is. Give me some smokes, will you? Smokes. Oh, there, I dropped an H. No, bully boo, uh... He's fond of you. I was afraid of that. No, you don't understand. Uh, uh, um, cigar, cigaruchin. No? Compris. Compris. What is this strange power you have over Coachman? Mm -hmm. No mystery, lady. Just a well-equipped young man at home in every language. Mm, bad language. Why, you... Oh! oh. Man paralyzed when about to strike woman. Uh. What's the matter, win? No, love. What, again? Why not? Speaking of love, do you think that bow-legged husband of yours would mind if I kissed you? He's not bow-legged. I'll call the police. He is too bow-legged. Oh. Well, if you won't let me kiss you, do you mind if I bite you Adam's apple? Oh. Speaking of your husband, if you go on defending him like that, the idea might get around that you love him. I think I do. Oh, oh, oh. How long has this been going on? Since yesterday. Yesterday. That's a fine thing after the way you practically flung yourself at me. Oh, oh, I'll call the police. Vivante. Home, James. I mean the casino. Can you play a duet? Diablo, she's not in dining room. Where can she be? I don't know, I'm sure. What's the matter with you? Me still blind on this ear. All right, all right, calm down, General, calm down. She's probably in the hotel somewhere. Uh, how did you see Mrs. Ashton this evening? Madam is gone with another gentleman to the casino. Telegram for you. Thank you. General, silly. First find man, and then I do my job. Let's go to casino to see nice Mrs. Ashton. Huh? Can't you keep your mind on the business, General? This is urgent. You are always jumping conclusion. Maybe nice Mrs. Ashton has found out something, huh? Let's go. Steady on. We can't go in these clothes. They won't let us in. Well, we should go and change. Yes.
Settle down together. What do you say? Oh, don't be a biker, honey. Let's do this in a big way. Oh, look, that's the dog I trotted in the hotel. Doesn't he bear any malice, does he? Don't you like him? You know exactly I hate all dogs. I must have had a long walk. I got all the boards taken in the hotel, so I came along here with Mr. Marvin. You don't mind, do you? Good heavens, no. Good evening. Good evening. Nine of them. What do you think of that? Thank heavens you've come along to take your dull wife off my hands. I'm tired of talking in words of one syllable. Oh, you don't know each other, do you? This is the gentleman I was talking to you about this morning. General Pompilio Montezuma de la Villa del Conde de Longu. Do you mind if I call you Charlie? I mind. Sanger! Pardon me while I pick up my winning. Well? Well, what? What happened? Did you get any results? Some total of our day's work. What does that mean? I can't tell you here. Oh, okay. Oh. The state. <laughs> That's a lot of buttons for somebody. You'll have to pay seven buttons, won't you? I kiss the bouton. Oh, it's one of yours, isn't it? One? I suppose it must be. Oh, I don't mind about the wound. Why do I have to answer you? He looks so hard. The head director will explain to you that he has a steady alone. I have this man gesagt, five or six times, he must always take the hand out. So, then go to my house. Monsieur, that's essential. No, anybody has to do something any harm. Couldn't bite anybody if he tried. They're making a ridiculous fuss about the dog being a good sense. Oh, that's what's the trouble? Seems the sausage hound has busted the regulation. Good heavens, how many of them? All of them, I guess. But are these the regulations governed by the Geneva Convention of 1864? Mais non, monsieur. They are the regulations of the casino. Have you got a copy of the regulations? There's no need. They are well known. He hasn't got, got a, a copy of the rule. Did you understand? You understand, sir, that under no circumstances whatever have we allowed to have this dog molested unless you show us a copy of the regulations governing the transportation of livestock in this casino. Right. I will do the whole thing over again. Yes. You, you understand, understand Now I go immediately to my office. And then we shall see. Hey, Bicker, close my ear. Qu'est-ce que c'est Livestock. Uh, das sind doch Tiere, Herr Direktor. Uh, Hilfe, mein Los. Jawohl, Herr Direktor. <laughs> May I introduce you? Well, the dog's already done that in the hotel. Uh, my name's Keeper. Yes, mine's Ashington. You remember my wife, do you? I know, I do. Tell him a minute, Bigger. Oh, there you are, Uncle. Do you know the Keeper? General Pompilio Montezuma de la Vita. Oh, we met. Ah, yes, yes, sir. Are you also a friend of Ashington's? Yes, me friend of every man with beautiful wife. Oh, that reminds me. I was going to see my wife. She's watching the dancing. I think this calls for a celebration. Anybody here on the wagon? Well, I'm hardly dressed for a party. It's been kind of you, Mr. Marvin. I've been timing all day. Up by Langenthal. In that case, you're entitled to the first drink. Come along. 
you hear? He was in the same village today we were. Yes, I heard. Go on. Go and talk to him. I've got an idea. This courage boy, no simpatico. Get along with you. Don't talk to him. Go on. I thought you were starting on your long trip today. No, no, no. A day after tomorrow. Oh, good. Here you are. General Pompilio Montezuma de la Villa del Conde de Lobo. Yeah, I want you to meet Mr. and Mrs. Ashington and my wife. I think you've already met Mr. Marvin, haven't you? Yes. General, look at your tie. It's terrible. Come here, let me fix it for you. Did you hear us? He's leaving the day after tomorrow. Comprendo. Okay, yeah, this is what I want you to do. Have you been away from England long? I have never been to England. And I have never before been away from Germany. Double gin I refuse to discuss the matter any further, General. That's quite enough. It is not enough. Me just beginning. Boys, about a nice friendly little drink. Pull yourself together, General. Don't make a scene. Shut up, you hear? Me not shut up. Hey, what's the trouble? Me not shut up. It doesn't matter. It's nothing at all. It's perfectly all right. I'd like a cognac. It is not all right. He insult me in very big way. He said this thing is nothing. I say this thing is very big something. You bet your sweet little life. Now, now, General, really. No, 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 no. I make the propuesta that we should climb the mountain all together. He said me not fit for mountain climbing because I only think on beautiful women. Now that is too much. Yes, General, all I said was that you couldn't go climbing mountains and taking your beautiful women with you. Well, that's all. Sure, that's all, General. He was only joking. Forget it. Don't be so touchy, General. Me touchy as much as I want. I bet you five English pounds that I can climb mountain much higher than you can. Oh, don't be so silly. Go on, Ashton. He's called you blind. No, 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 but it's ridiculous to take a joke like this. You see, serious. you see, you see? He's making the climb out. <laughs> you mean the back down? That's what I said. Well, it's a bit, is it? All right, I'm on. Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight's on. All we need now is a little mountain. Anyone got a mountain? No. Well, there's the, uh, the hanging out. But you better take some old hand with you. There's rather a tricky bit about, uh, about a thousand feet above the honey killer. Oh, well, I wonder if there's anywhere in the town where we can get a guide. First, you know somebody. Oh, I think the, uh, the whole port is mad to us. As a matter of fact, if I weren't going away the day after tomorrow, I'd like to take you up myself. Well, that would have been awfully nice. What a pity. Well, of course, it can't be helped. I suppose you couldn't make it tomorrow, could you? Well, as a matter of fact, I could, of course. But uh, how about you, General? It'd mean breaking a date, wouldn't it? Why, what for? Does one climb mountain in the middle of night? Well, the guide is engaged. While the boys are mobilizing, what about a dance for you and me? Sorry, I'm just one of those old-fashioned wives. How about it? Come on, we'll <laughs> Excuse us, won't you? You are wonderful. What are you going to do? Wasn't it marvelous the way he fell for it? I'm glad you enjoyed it anyway. Do you think he suspects anything? No, you wouldn't be coming with us if he did. Okay, you want to stay behind and look after Mrs. Kepper. Oh, why? Well, somebody's got to keep her occupied. You better practice German conversation with her. But why can't I come with you? Oh, don't be absurd. Oh, I see. I've got to stay at home with a stuffy old house crowd while you go out hunting and get all the fun. I call it rough. Did I tell you something? What? We aren't hunting a fox, we're hunting a man. An oldish man with a wife. Oh, I know it's war and it's our job to do it. That doesn't prevent it being murder, does it? Simple murder. And all you can see in it is fun. Is this your home? It 
was our home. Where you lived before the war. If you please, we do not talk about the war. Uh, will you sit down and we will have a little German conversation, yes? I'd love to. How much German do you know? I'm afraid very little. Uh, suppose you say to me the days of the week in German. Mm -hmm. um, Sonntag, Montag, Dienstag, Mittwoch. That is good, but pronounce the world's border, so Sonntag, Montag, Dienstag, yes? Please, ma'am, my mummy says have you room for a new boy in your class. No, go away. Pardon me, I was speaking to the teacher. Do you understand German, Mr. Marvin? Not a word, but I speak it fluently. I'll sit down here by this little girl. I promise to be good. I won't pull your hair or anything. Much. Here. Yeah. Little girl shouldn't smoke cigarettes in class. Would you like to try it, please? The days of the week in German? Sure. Uh, Sonntag? Uh, Montag? Me, um, the Wago. Oh, your pronunciation is terrible. I thought so. Look what it's done to the dog. <coughs> oh, we ought to be back in comfortable time for dinner. What appetites we'll have generally? Sure, sure. We'll have big fun when the thing is over. Now, perhaps you are going to an hotel and you wish to engage a room. In what way would you say? I, I would say I want a double bedroom and bath for myself and my beautiful wife. This is my beautiful wife. You know, I speak to Mrs. Ashenden. What would you say? I would say I want a single room, please. Ich möchte eine kleine Zimmer. Well, the going's not too bad so far, is it? No, pretty good, really. I suppose this sort of works child's brain to you, eh, General? Oh, uh, for me, just second nature. Uh, <laughs> look, we, we've got a grand day for it. Oh, yes. <laughs> As Englishmen say, the more better the day, the more better the deed. Uh -huh. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, approximately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fifty, come. Come here, mm -hmm. Come. He is always troubled mm -hmm. when his master is away. He thinks of him all the time. Please do say that again. Uh, was kostet es für eine Nacht? This is not going through with us, do you hear? So, we are not. You forget instructions of Mr. R. You prepare, me finish. Besides, what about my money for this job? What are you waiting for? You two fellas still at it. He makes again the back down and I mean the climb up. He's tired, he says. Oh, look here, if you're tired, let's cut it out. Good. No, no, no. This is only trick for me losing my bet. Oh, you won your bet all right, if you like. I'll pay you the money down. No, but there is my honor to make the climb. All right, well, then go and climb by yourself. Stay back here with me, will you, Kevin? No, please, please, come with me. No, you stay here. Let him carry on alone. No, no, no. I think I'd better go with him. It's a bit tricky up there. Thank you. Now, look here. You can see us reach the top from the observatory over there. Come on, General, I'll raise you. <laughs> no, he's being a very bad dog. <laughs> Fritzi, when your master comes home, I tell him how you behave. And then what will happen, huh? Now you lie there like a good little dog. <laughs> Now, Mrs. Ashenden, we go back to our lesson. You think 20 marks is too much for your room, so what do you say? That is too... Oh, I don't know, what does it matter? Now you will see them easily. Thanks very much. Don't understand. You've never liked this before. I wonder. 
tonight? What's the matter? Bring you on a nice little steamer trip and this is how you behave. No, sorry, I apologize. Missing your dear little American friend, I suppose. How have you been? Good evening. How are you? How did the police inquiry go? Oh, perfectamente, perfectamente. Beautiful accident. Very, very sad, but could not be helped. Poor, poor gentleman. Didn't they find out any more about him? Oh, nothing important. Only photography of his wife when she was young and photography of little English village where he lived once. But me, gentlemen, I have not opened it. Come on, I have to decode it. Chocolate. Much like those buttons are more common here than we thought. <laughs> Elsa, 
like to tell you how, how wonderful it's been meeting you, Mr. Ashenden. I'd often wonder what you were like, of course, but now I know, I really know. Think of that. Shut up. For God's oh, sake. I believe you're trying to snub me. Please don't. I'm being terribly sincere about all this. In fact, I'm really quite shameless. I'm going to tell you a secret. I fell in love with you at first sight. Not just a crush, but a crash. Does that amuse you? I thought it would. And I've been so faithful to my love for you. I can't tell you how unkind I've been to poor Marvin. I can tell it's over now. I see. It's over. Isn't it funny? I always thought it never could end, but it has. Aren't you glad? It must be so boring being idolized. Oh, yes, of course I'm glad. I suppose after this you'll be able to treat the whole thing just as an ordinary job, something you're paid for. You are paid a salary, I suppose. Oh, yes, that's what I'm doing it for, money, didn't you know? You know it isn't. Yes, it is, I tell you. <laughs> somehow, I, I don't like murder at close quarters as much as I expected. Or murderers, for that matter. The childish of it. I don't like them much either, as a matter of fact. Oh, don't make me laugh. It hasn't been much fun for me either lately. I don't wonder. I didn't kill him, you know. You were there when it was done? Oh, yes, I was there all right. Half a mile away at the other end of a telescope. Yes, it's quite true. Just one of those long range assassins. But that doesn't make it any better, does it? I think you're beginning to find that out, too. Aren't you? Oh, I say, don't cry. Here, have a cigarette. Why can't we give it all up? Why, would that make any difference? To us? Yes, but I thought you said it was, it was all over. You weren't the only one that crashed. Hmm? Come on, it's getting cold. Let's go in. <laughs> there are times, Mrs. Ashton, when it is almost a pleasure to be alive. Is this one, Mr. Ashton? I don't quite know yet. Just hold this cup and I'll tell you. <laughs> ah, yes, it is. It is. Yeah, here's my copy. No. no, 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 business first. Have you finished that letter of resignation? Yes, yes, it's on the table. Right. I shouldn't think I'll be very pleased when he gets it. Especially the postscript. Yeah, will you give me another cup of coffee, please? Mm -hmm. sure. What's going to happen when we get back to England? Oh, nothing much. I'll just send somebody else out to take my place, that's all. Why, it doesn't matter much to you, does it? Here, answer the telephone. How's it yourself, lazy? Not the road. Yeah. Hey, you Hello. You've forgotten the sugar, you <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yes? Oh. Is that the ugliest woman in the world? Who is it? Your hated rival. They're all my hated rivals. Which one is it this time? Marvin. Oh. Yes. Yes, thanks. Much better. Yes, all alone. The neglected wife, as usual. Yes, you have my permission to spill it. Oh, that's very sudden and... Uh, shattering. Shattering for a girl. Yes. Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't, because I promised my husband I'd... Oh, you better not let him hear that. You can cut out that Darby and Joan stuff. You see, I know your husband. And look what you're passing up. Me, a caveman with a college education. What more do you want, for heaven's sake? You know, you're breaking my back. Well, this is my last word. Listen.
Pardon me while the brain reels. Our first kiss, or am I just goofy? Was that really you? Yes, my love. Not off, it wasn't. Hey, what's the idea? Whom have I been kissing? Hold on, here's your little Elsa. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hello. Is that you at last? Let me get this straight. Whom have I been kissing? You or the old man? <laughs> Very well, I'm satisfied. Now get me. This, madam, is the end. So long, and goodbye. And may you have quintuplets. <laughs> you know, I'm quite sorry for that chap. I believe he's really fond of you. Isn't anyone else? Yes, me. Oh, hello, General. Morning. Come to join the celebrations? Yes. Making the morning husband and wife exercises? No, not this time. The genuine article today. <laughs> <laughs> One dozen daily. <laughs> I intrude, yes? No, not in the least, General. You just come to a decision and we're celebrating it, that's all. Hooray. We're going away from here tomorrow. I've resigned. Resign. Resigned? What does this word mean? In middle of war, impossible. Imagine, could I resign in middle of war? Or imagine whole army and, and front line would do this resign business? I wouldn't do it if I were in the army. Hiding in the front lines of dance, I'd clean their jobs than this. And then, if the most respectful Mr. R does not accept your assignment, and he certainly will not. Oh, I can't help that anyway. Then what? Listen, look here, I'm fed up with this whole business. It isn't as if we've done any good since we've been out here so far. We aren't trained bloodhounds, either of us. What do you mean? What do you mean? They can quite easily find somebody much better than we are to take our place. Maybe for you, maybe for you they can find. Not for me. Me certainly very well trained bloodhound. Me, me first class bloodhound. No worries, I know all about that, thank you. Yes? Then it's good. Come here, I'll tell you. What is it? What this is, is the reason why I'm hearing this minute. Very big, important news. Very best up to now. I Leading dare say, I dare say. Directamente to men. To the right men. No making mistakes this time, please. please. No good, nothing do doing. I'm sure I tell you, I'll please, finish. Please, me, me, promise me, do everything. You only give advice. Um, word of honor, I mean, uh, promise. Well, look here, advice is all you get. Hurry up, tell me what it's all about. Yes, fine. Don't go. It's all right, I shall go in a few minutes. It's all right. I'll be there. We go past your room anyway. Yes, but here is my little baby's room. Now we go here. Well, well! Carida, caridissima! How have you been all the time? I brought you a very fine gentleman friend of mine to see you. Oh, why have you come into my bedroom in here? I'm a nice girl. So I gather. How do you do? Isn't she sweet? Please sit down. Thank you. Your secretary general, I suppose. Uh, no, yes, my private secretary. Isn't she sweet? Oh, come on, come on, General. What's it all about? There is very much all about. You wait and see. You see, last night we met in the guest house. I play my little penny game with her. So, we get acquainted very quickly. Of course, you would. We also talked afterwards. Oh, I wonder what about. Little conversation. She tells me about her fiancé. What does he here do? Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. no. He works in chocolate factory on the top floor. But he's in big money. He makes about four times as big money as any other clerk. And here I come to the point. I can't believe it. You go and play uh, uh, find and seek with it, yes? <laughs> here, baby. Ah! Train! Ah! Jump! <laughs> you see, this chocolate factory is not only factory, but it is also, and now you will see, that me very first class bloodhound, that me big patriot. You know what it is? You know? No, 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 I don't know. It's the big German spy post office. You mean the clearinghouse for information? Yes, exactly. But secret, very secret, no one knows. Even manager does not know, only one or two workmen know. Including her boyfriend, I suppose. Exactly. Yesterday, message came through, which is a very big sensation. Message for someone. You mean for the man we're after? Exactly. Are you quite sure of that? Positive. Yeah, we're under him this time, really. That's what I said. Yes, but, but did the boyfriend mention any name? No, he did not. Well, then what's the good of that? But he knows. 
And I'm quite sure he will tell for a small money amount. Five thousand francs! What? Are you crazy? Are you completely crazy? Didn't I give you already big money amount for you? One hundred francs? Huh? Oh, that was for me? Yeah? The others for Carl. Oh. Because you want to get married. Room 234, please. Hello? Listen, Elsa, something's happened. I've got to go out for a couple of hours. Will you send one of the boys down to the hall with my hat and coat? Oh, we can easily still catch the night train. Did you get that? Yes. I'm sorry, my dear, but I can't help you. Yeah, I must. No, I haven't time to explain the details, but I'll let you know as soon as I get back. I shan't be long, really. You do understand, don't you? Yes. Here's our guy. Ich spreche von den Moschar-Werken. Wer ist da? Was, Sie haben zwei englische Spione? Was ist denn das los? Zentrale! Ah, der Direktor von der Schokoladenfabrik. Zwei englische Spione? Sind heute hier zwei Engländer? Engländer? Sie meinen die zwei Herren, die ich mit Herrn Schulz gesehen habe? So. Ja, ja. Es sind zwei Engländer in Fabrik. Ja. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, schön. Sure. Ja. Machen Sie den großen Bereitschaftswagen fertig nach Portal 2. Wir müssen sofort ja, abhalten.
Give me a fight. I'm sorry. Please, thank you. Do you have the money? Mm -hmm. What is it, please? No. Yes, madam. But there is no label on. Where shall I send it to? Oh, I don't know. Could you send it to the station and in my name to be called for? Yes, madam. And there's my letters. 700, 800, 900, 1000. Thank you, sir. Hello, Elsa. You're leaving. Yes. Madam, this is the end. Didn't you hear me? Yes, I didn't think you meant it seriously. <laughs> I have to leave, all right. I just had a hurry-up call back home, so if I don't check out now, it's goodbye to seeing the rest of little old Europe this trip, anyway. Where are you going? To Greece first, I think. I was leaving this for you. Something to remember me by. Where are you going? I haven't the faintest idea. I say, do I look as though I've been crying? No, I don't think so. Why? Anything wrong? I'm leaving too. What about your husband? I haven't one anymore. But look, only this morning you told Please me. Please don't ask me to explain. Sir, the car is waiting. I could come with you, couldn't I? Oh, well, I couldn't. I mean... Uh, I promise I wouldn't get in your way or interfere with anything you wanted to do. But couldn't... I mean, shouldn't you go back to England? Oh, no. I couldn't do that. There, least of all. I'd be terrified. Please let me come, won't you? Yeah, only a few minutes left, sir. Please. All right, come on. Yes, sir. Yes. No, sir. Mrs. Session then has just left, sir. Yes, sir. Left the hotel. Mr. Marvin, sir. He's gone, too. Yes. To the railway station with Madame. What do you think? He's gone. Is this funny? Elsa's gone with him. No. Well, she must have been on him after all. She's the first classes bloodhound of all of us. Come mm. on. <laughs> yes. What an actress. She jumps ahead of us all the time. Rush, rush, you great sir. Colonel Anderson. Oh, here you are. Here's your master. Upside down. Oh, sorry. Sit down. Matter feeling wet? Oh no. Yes. Clever that girl getting ahead of them like that. With any luck, Ashenden ought to get him on the Greek frontier. Here, before he slips out of neutral territory into Turkey. Well, sir, supposing Ashenden makes a mess of it. So we'll see about that. Get me army headquarters in the line when I get back. You don't think there's any danger of this man getting through? I don't. Get me that line. Yes. The train starts. The idea. Maybe if I give money to the son of a ranking file. You know, but I hate these people. They only do everything only for money. Well, go on, Hello. What happened? Hello. Money? Bakshish? Come here. One? Two? Okay, 
More, more. Come here, more batches. Come. One, two, now. What are you doing with this man? Me, General, you know, me go to Station Master. You will see. Hello, Station Master. Listen, I'm going to get some cigarettes. You better go into the compartment. Have I time to get a magazine? Yes. Elsa! Elsa, darling! Oi! You of all people! Oh, no, I can't get out of here. Let me through. How are you, darling? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. How uh, did you get here? Why did you take such risks? I have to. Yeah, well, I wish you'd let me know what you were up to. I couldn't bear it any longer, darling. When I found out that you'd gone, I... It was the last straw. I had to leave. Oh, what do you think that guy was not telling me? I'm most frightfully anxious about you. Anyway, thank heaven you're here. Now we can forget all about it and go back. No more killing, no more Mexicans. Yes, sir. We have permission. I have permission. Here, here. We have permission. Here. Oh, everybody has permission. Oh, our beautiful detective. Oh, if you find out that Martha is an ever You didn't know? Be crazy. He's fooled her, too. Where is he now? He's got to get some cigarettes. Of course, he hasn't got onto the train that's going to Constantinople. Constantinople? Just the enemy territory. <laughs> Much too friendly. See my instinct, me hating small time. Now we do our last job, then back to forms and duty. Yes? You must be fooling, that's what it is. He's fooling, it's just a joke. Wait here till I come back. The red button is the sun that goes there. I'm coming with you. What? Can you make the passport? Yes. Let's go before we're out of neutral country. Listen, Elsa, when the man comes for the tickets... I'm not going to kill him. You mad? Come away from that door. I'm not going to let you do this. It's cold-blooded murder. There's no use trying to stop us now. It's got to be done, that's all. To be in the country in a few minutes. You must be at the frontier now. Look here. I've got to do it. It's my job. You know that perfectly well. I'd do anything in the world to your moment's pain, but I'd sooner see you dead than let you go through with this. Don't you care at all what I feel? Of course I do. You know that quite well. Then don't do me. I've got to. All right. What are you going to do? I'm going to tell the first enemy soldier who you are. Go get yourself ridiculous. Chicago town for three years. Where you live? Uh, Hollywood. Is that in America? Sure. Fine. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
I better keep this handy. You see, I don't trust you. Now, what are you doing on this train? I told you. You're here on business. Old man R's business. You're in the spy racket too, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. All right. I can place you now. The lovely, neglected wife. And I felt. where you are. You're in my country. Enemy territory. Where are your two friends? On the train somewhere? How never they get on this train? It's their headache, not mine. But if they have, they're dead men. Searched. Exactly what I'm going to do. When you do, perhaps you'll believe me. I hope you're not bluffing me. Why should I? Surely a clever man like you can guess. Guess what? Why, I've trailed halfway across Europe with you. Really? How long has this been going on? I think from the first day we met. Before the villain was unmasked? From the very beginning. How did you find out about me? Ashman told me. When? For oh, a long time ago. It made no difference. None. You're either the biggest double-crossing liar I've ever met or... Thanksgiving service. Well? When does the shooting begin? Elsa, please go outside. No gun. This is my job, you know. It's sad. You know it. You go with Madame. Our conference will be very short. Call you back soon. 
Wait a minute. What are you doing? You heard what I said just now. I meant it. I should have seen you dead the minute you do this. You realize it might be the end of our horses and ease? What difference does that make to me? His life against the life of thousands. What do I care about them? What do I care about him? He's the doctor. We're not going to have this on our conscience. Thank <laughs> you. 